so spot rates so we'll see what is spot rates from this spot rates how can we extract forward rates and from this forward rates how can we extract geometric mean which is the interest rate per year okay and how can we verify all this that's what we are going to see it will be something a very full fledged uh, sum uh, so you will have to focus a lot but you know once you understand this believe me it will help you in plenty of sums uh, you know in uh, cfa yeah so now what is spot rates uh, let me give you one simple example without getting into book uh, bookish uh, statement so imagine for one year you are getting the interest rate of 5 percentage okay so that means if i draw a timeline 0 1 you are getting 5 percentage returns what if you invest for 2 years you are getting 6 percentage okay so 6 percentage return per annum so 0 1 2 so, 6 percentage here, 6 percentage over here you are going to get. So, 6 percentage for 0 to 1 year, 6 percentage from 1 to 2 years. Then, tenure 3, suppose you want to invest for 3 years, then you will be paid, let us say, 8 percentage. So, that means for 0 to 1, 8 percentage, for 1 to 2 years, 8 percentage and for 2 to 3 years also, 8 percentage okay so spot rates means what this is you know spot rate is calculated per annum uh, basis for the specified tenure so for one year you are going to get five percentage here for two years you will get six percentage six percentage this is called spot rates for the specified tenure how much you are going to get per annum six percentage and in the third case you are going to get eight percentage for three years per annum you are going to get eight percentage so these are spot rates so with this spot rates with this spot rates how do i value a bond so what i am going to do now is valuation of bonds using spot rates valuation of bond using spot rates so let's say uh, valuation of bonds using spot rates so let's say the given condition is maturity is it's a three year bond so maturity is three years okay maturity three years coupon is five percentage i y we don't know because we have all spot rates so using spot rates we are going to calculate uh, the present value so we don't need i y so spot rates are given spot rates are given uh, future value of the bond is 1000 okay so these are the given conditions how do i find out the present value so present value so present value is equal to the cash flows this is for 3 years so 0 1 2 then 3 so the present value at the end of year one i am going to get 50 how 50 because 5 percentage of 1000 50 coupon i am going to get 50 and then here also 50 plus the principal amount so now i will discount it one plus so what rate will i use i have the spot rates so for one year it is five percentage spot rates so five percentage to the power 1 because the period is 1 here then the next one is 6 percentage here so for 2 years it is 6 percentage spot rate so 6 percentage to the power 2 okay so I will bring it here similarly for the third one third one what is the spot rate 8 percentage so 1 plus 8 percentage to the power 3 so yeah okay so let me find out the value now 
so first one it comes to 7 47.62 second one 44.50 third one 833.52 so i'll add up all this it comes to 925.64 okay so present value is 925.64 we will verify this now okay in some time this number will be verified so spot rates we have we are discussing now from spot rates how do i extract forward rate so what is forward rate now so if i say you know spot rate for for one year it is five percentage spot rate for two years okay six percentage see from zero to five it is only five uh, five percentage right so what is the rate over here from one to two years this is what i want to know this is called the forward rate okay so over here it is called as one y one y that means after one year for one year what is the forward rate after one year for one year what is the forward rate so whatever is the forward rate over here for, for this uh, for the second year and then first year this has been averaged out and we have got six percentage six percentage so with the help of these two information i can find out what is the forward rate okay so forward rate is what here from first year to the second year okay so how do i find out so i know for two years it is six percentage okay so forward rate is So to find out this forward rate, 1y, 1y, the formula goes like this. It will be, you know, 1 plus, if you want to do like a formula, it will be spot rate uh, for the n number of periods to the power n divided by 1 plus n minus 1 uh, to the power n minus 1. But otherwise, you know, logically also you can think and do it. So, 1y, 1y, 1y is equal to, how I will do this is, 1 plus spot rate for 2 years comes to 6 percentage. Okay, so 6 percentage for 2 years to the power n that is for two years divided by one plus one plus five percentage because for one year it is five percentage so i am actually discounting this so what i will be left out is for first to second year which is the forward rate so five percentage to the power one and then whatever number i get because i am adding one over here i will reduce one okay so let me calculate this So it comes to 7 percentage, okay, 7 percentage. That means here it is 7 percentage. So if you want to invest from first year to the second year, you will get 7 percentage return. So averaged out, it comes to 6 percentage, okay. So now this also I can prove. So this is, so what I have done is I have extracted forward rate. So forward rate is 7 percentage, 1y, 1y is seven percentage so if i write on the basis of timeline so it is zero one two from zero to one it is five percentage from one to two it is seven percentage and overall you know it is six percentage six percentage averaged out as six percentage six percentage okay similarly i can you know so so i know now this is 5% for one year, 
seven percentage for you know one to two years if i want to know the forward rate for this period from second to third now this will be called as 2y 1y that means after two year for one year after two years for one year what is the forward rate if i want to calculate this how i will calculate is see i know so 2y 1y how do i calculate this this is 0 1 2 3 uh, 8 percentage is the spot rate so 8 percentage 8 percentage 8 percentage from this i have to discount two year spot rate okay so after two years for one year so two year spot rate is how much two year spot rate is six percentage six six percentage so six percentage six percentage so two y one y is equal to one plus eight percentage to the power three because it is three year spot rate divided by so i am discounting the two year so I am discounting all this part. When I am discounting all this part, I will be left out from 2 to 3. Okay, so 2 to 3. So let me calculate that. And then I will do minus 1 also, whatever answer I get, because I am adding up 1 over here. So 1.08 to the power 3. So that comes to 1.25. Divided by one point one two three. Okay. So it comes to twelve point one one percentage. Twelve point one one percentage. So that means here it is 12.11 percentage this is only for second to third years okay for second to third years so that means i have the forward rate now so so for first year it was Five percentage for second year it was seven percentage okay, from second year it was second per uh, seven percentage and then from second to third year it was twelve point one one percentage okay so so how do I find out you know if i want only one rate for all these three so i will find out geometric mean so geometric mean is equal to one plus return one into one plus return two into one plus return three here so to the power i will shrink it to one year so one by three minus one so one plus five percentage into one plus seven percentage into one plus twelve point one one percentage to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 so so it comes to 7.99 percentage geometric mean which is also equal to interest rate per year i can use this geometric mean as iy as well okay now let's just cross check this so if i can use this geometric mean as iy then you see how these numbers are interconnected so let me find out or let me value this bond again but this time without using spot rates and using instead using iy so let me write the question here again n maturity 3 years coupon 5 percentage 
maturity is 3 years coupon 5 percentage okay future value is 1000 iui i am going to use 7.99 percentage okay so i am supposed to get this number 925 or almost this number maybe some decimal differences are possible okay so so 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 so 50 so at the end of this year first year i'll get 50 50 50 and then 1000 so i'll discount it using iy 7.99 percentage to the power 1 7.99 percentage to the power 2 7.99 percentage to the power 3 and i'll discount and i'll bring all to the present value okay so this comes to 46.3 42.87 so this is 833.755 so adding all this 3 comes to 922 0.93 okay so let's see if it matches so 923 yeah so these two three gaps are fine two three rupees gaps are fine that is because of all the decimal uh, uh, differences okay so this is how you know all these are interconnected okay so from the spot rate we got the forward rate from the forward rate i got iy so from the spot rate the valuation that I did, I can even find out with this IY and this is supposed to match. Okay. So, this will help you to understand how numbers are interconnected and, and you know, how numbers are extracted from one another. That's the takeaway point here. Thank you. Thanks for your time.